sort your jelly roll into 24 medium and dark and 16 light. Now the whirly gig uses background and springtime uses a medium strip. These are the two blocks you're going to be making. For the whirly gig, flip the dark right sides together to the background. Use your quarter of an inch seam, just pedal to the metal and assembly line sew those strips. Cut them in half on the fold. Place them on the pressing mat with dark across the top. Set the seam open and press towards the dark. Now place the first strip with dark across the bottom and then the second one right sides together with dark across the top. Mush those seams, line them up so they lock together. With your ruler, trim off the salvage edge and get rid of it. Cut the strip sets into four and a half inch squares. You can get four squares going the whole way across there. And then in that remaining bit, cut a two and a half inch segment for Simply Sweet. Take your ruler, line up the 45 degree line along the left edge and draw a diagonal line and sew a quarter of an inch seam. Cut in half so you have two smaller pieces and press those seams open. Now make one stack for each one of the mirror image blocks and cut off those tips. We don't want any tips hanging out. This is the block, sew the block together and to make it lay really flat on the back side, cut the connecting thread and remove those three to four stitches in the vertical seam. Take them out on one side, turn them over, and remove on the second side. Lay your block flat, mush that center good, and then you can just swirl those seams around the center. It looks perfect on the right side, and when you flip it over, there you see that little pinwheel on the block. Take your uh, nine and a half inch square up ruler and square it to seven and a half inches. Make two stacks for each of the mirror image blocks. Stack them up and you're ready to lay out your quilt.